Hello everybody, this is Technoli. And today, yep, we have the Dream Machine. This is the Dream Hackintosh that you guys have waited for. This is a Ryzen 7 3700X. Great scores on this one. We're going to show you in this beautiful ITX case, but that's not all. We have Thunderbolt working for all you musicians out there. We've got our Apollo Twin X hooked up to this puppy, and we're going to show you some results. Okay? Let me show you how cool this case is. All right, guys, here it is. Now, I want to show you, first of all, that we have onboard Bluetooth and Wi Fi working. Okay, built onto the motherboard. Now watch this. You can just pull this apart. It has these little pins and it just snaps together. Okay, side, pull off the side panel. Pull off the other side panel if you want. There's our Radeon RX 580. And there's our beautiful little Noctua fan down there keeping this Ryzen 7 3700X cool. We've got an SSD in here for dual boot on Windows. And that's it, guys. That's it. Really loving this case. Really loving this case. All right, so let's get started on this one. Okay, guys, so here we are. This is a channel subscriber build, and this is the Ryzen 7 3700X, 8 core processor, 32 gigs of RAM, and Radeon RX 580, 8 gigabytes. So just keep that in mind when you're seeing these scores. So let's go ahead and look here. So we've got Wi Fi, we're hooked up. We've got Bluetooth right here. And let me, I'm going to turn on my Apple mouse. And we'll see if it connects. And there it is. So we're all good there. So we know that's working. All right. Now, let's get into Geekbench and see what kind of scores a Ryzen 7 3700X is going to give us. All right. Let's run this and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're coming down to the end of it here. And I want you to know that this processor is like $270, okay? Now an i9 9900K is still like $520, something like that. So this processor is like $250 less than an i9. Now we're going to compare it. Okay, check this out. My scores on an i9 9900K on Geekbench 5 are 1269 and 9931. So the i9 is has a better multi-score, but the single score is basically the same. All right, let's compare here. So we're, of course, above anything that Apple makes on a single score. And on the multi, we're at 91. So we're right between these two guys, which is an i9 9900K. Eight cores, same as this processor, and this iMac Pro with a Xeon processor. So we're right in here, and this is a $270 processor. Very impressive. Very, very, very impressive. Let's go ahead and get it out of here, and let's go over to Cinebench. All right. Let's run it and see how it does. We're doing amazing right here, guys. This is really fast. And you've seen enough of these benchmarks on my videos to know this is very quick, very quick. Uh, the score on the i9 9900K was 4728, okay, was the Cinebench score. So 4728, let's see what we come up on this one. 4876. So we're beating 
an i9 9900K that I've tested myself. So this is super impressive. This is a Ryzen 7 3700X. This is not a Ryzen 9. This is a 3700X. This is awesome stuff. Now, the reason you all came here, of course, Logic Pro, all of your audio software, what can we do with this processor in Logic? Well, guys, I have some exciting news for you. Like it says in the title of this video, we have Thunderbolt working. I've got my Apollo Twin X hooked up to this computer, and we're going to run Logic Pro, and we're going to run Mojave. Well, Waves got back to me and told me the problem with running Waves plugins on what we're trying to do here is Catalina. I couldn't believe it. I was like, haven't they resolved the Catalina issues? No, they haven't completely, obviously. So I'm going to reboot. I'm going to boot up to a drive that I've got hooked up to this computer that has Mojave on it, and I'm going to show you guys some amazing stuff. All right, let's go. Now, guys, I wanted you to see the BIOS on this and show you that we are on the ASRock Phantom Gaming ITX motherboard. This is the X570 with Thunderbolt 3, okay? So we're good to go on this one. We've got Thunderbolt right down here. And we've got it enabled and no security. Okay, so let's boot this up. And I'm going to show you that I am booting with this computer. I'm going to select a different hard drive. All right, so I'm going to go down here to Mojave. ASRock ITX. That is the drive I'm going to boot from. And this is, of course, Mojave. All right, let's log in. And let me show you the exciting stuff. You see it connecting to the Apollo? Look at this right here, guys. Isn't this amazing? We can change our frequencies. Everything on this thing works excellent. This is more stable than some of the Intel systems that I've done as far as the Apollo interface working. I mean, it just works great with no distortion at any of these selected frequencies. All right. Now, let's go ahead and launch Waves. And let me show you guys. If you watched my other video about trying to get Waves plugins to work on Catalina, it wouldn't even install. So I'm going to grab this one right here and click Install and Activate. And we'll show you that it is working. Okay, so there you go. Install and Activate complete. So we're good there. We'll go out of here. Let's launch Logic Pro X. Okay, so before we jump into how many tracks this thing will do, blah, 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 let's do a couple of experiments. So what I have right here is I've got this Waves this is a, uh, a Wave Synth, and we're on this channel right here. And then just for the heck of it, I put on this Bass Rider, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you that everything is working wonderfully with Waves. Can you believe this? I cannot believe that Waves hasn't gotten all issues with Catalina fixed. It just it amazes me. Anyways. At least they got back to me, and that was wonderful. Okay, so the plugins are working. All right, we can go here, and we can whoops, we can go. We can go here, and we can go down to waves, and here I've got a couple of things hooked up. I just installed that one, 
and there it is hooked up working blah 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 all right now if you don't already know this test is 128 tracks available okay and these are MIDI tracks and they have five plugins on each of the 128 tracks so what we want to do is is how many tracks can this processor handle now I'm gonna make sure that I'm running at 48 let's see here let's go over here to recording 24-bit project and audio and I'm gonna switch this to 48 all right so there we go just to put a little pressure on it all right I got 50 tracks lined up here let's turn on the load meter so we can see how our performance is on our CPU there we go and let's run it well there's 50 tracks 48 K and we are running how many buffers are we running on this let's check and make sure ah 128 let's put it at 64 okay so let's go back and let's hit it again yeah so 50 percent with 50 tracks 50 percent at 50 tracks Wow all right let's just crank it up to 100 let's crank it up to 100 now you can imagine if you've got a higher end processor you could do as many tracks as you want all right so let's hit it again all right so we got a hundred tracks and we're running at about 85 percent uh, will it take all 128 now the i9 9900k will do for 128 tracks let's turn these on and see if it will fly back it up and hit it okay we're pegged the audio is not distorted at all and it's running it it is running it this is amazing Wow okay guys that is incredible but will it handle 96 how many tracks can I record at 96 well I'm gonna take it back down to 50 because I don't think it'll run any more than 50 tracks at 96 well, let's check it out let's see here's 50 right here so let's break it down to that there there's 50 tracks all right let's run over here and let's change our session to 96 there goes the relays on the old Apollo twin processing all right let's see if we can get 50 tracks out of this all right here we go we're pegged but we're holding and I'm listening in the headphones crystal clear no distortion unbelievable wow okay <laughs> can we squeeze a few more out of it can we go to 55 can we get 55 tracks let's see 55 we're holding so far no distortion 55 tracks on an on a Ryzen 7 3700X let's just take it until it fails let's add on another five we'll go to 60 tracks and let's see if we get an overload message yep there we go all right so the sweet spot is probably 55 let me just for the heck of it I'm gonna hit it at 57 tracks 57 holding once it gets that yeah, right there okay 
Yeah, once it gets up to about right here, the music changes a little bit and it's too much. So 55 tracks at 96. Well, that's impressive. That is impressive. For a machine, it doesn't cost that much money at all. And you can put your little Apollo twin right on top of it. Take it to the studio. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I hope you're as excited as I am about having a Ryzen system running with Thunderbolt. Um, it truly is amazing. Okay. So let's close out of here. And tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'm uh, totally impressed with this thing. And uh, it's a lot of fun knowing that we can run Ryzen on this thing. I think that this is just amazing and very exciting. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I really appreciate Waves getting back to me and letting me know that, you know, possibility that this might work or that might work. I don't think they really want to tell you what's going to work and what's not. So, um, but that's good for us, right? All right. So guys, let me know what you think. Now, I did test this with a monitor and it did not work. Okay. So Thunderbolt did not work with a monitor. So just so you know. All right. We'll see you guys on the next video.